everyone and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, as you can tell by the title, it's an August favourite. So in my August favourites, I'm just going to basically show you what my favourites have been throughout August. So I got this idea from Zoe Sugg um, when she was firstly known as Zoella when she used to do her um, each monthly favourite. I just really like them and I, personally I like being nosy to see what people um, have liked during the month, what they've repurchased. I thought that I'd give it a go. Okay, so first off I've got my little list of my favourites here. I say little, it's quite a long list. <laughs> Who else thinks August has been the longest month going? This has just gone too slow. So let's kick off my August favourites with my favourite hair products. So in the early stages of August, it was the 3rd of August, I got my hair done. So I went from a full over, full head highlights, bleach blonde to a balayage so i had brown put in there more neutralized blonde so my hairdresser recommended that i use these two hair products when i wash my hair so i use the purology hydrate and it's for dry color treated hair and it's vegan as well which is really good because then it doesn't have any of the bad nasty stuff that you get in other shampoos from the supermarkets um, this has no sulfates in it either, which is good. It doesn't affect anyone with coloured hair. So if you're interested, this is the brand and what it is. So that's the shampoo. And then that is the conditioner. So I only wash my hair probably twice or three times a week. Um, just purely because it's better for my hair. Because my hair is coloured, it's better to let some of the natural oils into my hair. So I, yeah, I only wash my hair two or three times a week. Probably four if I've got a special occasion to go to. So that is my favourite hair wash products. And then to follow on with, I also use the Colour Wow Dream Coat Supernatural Spray. So after I wash my hair, I towel dry it, section it into pieces and you literally drench your hair with sprays. So I'll do like three sprays on each side. So I'll, I'll split my hair down the middle and then section them off and proper like drench each side of my hair. And then you need to blow dry your hair so this product isn't a product that will just activate if you just leave it in air dried hair you need the heat from a hair dryer so what i do is i have my hair dryer which is a ghd hair dryer and my denman brush and i grab my hair with a brush and i just pull and dry so what this does it lasts in your hair up to three to four washes and it will take out all the frizz in your hair which is good for me because when it's hot and very humid my hair just goes out it's my hair is like my mum's it will literally just go pff, i'll get so much frizz i have some uh, snappage on the top of my head where i have been blonde for so long um so i get loads of little flyaways so this it is really good so that's the product there um, you can get this in M&S or you can get it off Amazon. Um, also for the Purology, I got these off of Amazon. They're just generally cheaper than getting them off. Look fantastic, which is where I was originally advised to go get them from. Okay, so that's the hair section over. Let's put them there. So the next section is like... I, wouldn't, I didn't really know what to call it, so I just called it extras. <laughs> it's this moisturizer so the next thing is this moisturizer so it's a CeraVe SA smoothing cream for dry rough bumpy skin so I've suffered with really bad skin for all my life um, I've recently just come off a skin medication called Roaccutane for my acne on my face um, unfortunately another skin disease has um, come back on my skin so I've now got milia which is I've got some of my arms and like my jaw so they're like little white lumps um, usually they're found around your eyes and your nose if you've got excessive like sebum which is like oil and stuff um, but for some reason mine just grows around my chin my jaw my cheeks and also my arms so I was um, 
advice to her on some skin medication which I will be going on soon but for my arms I wanted something that was going to be a fast reactor so I was doing some searching online and I saw the this CeraVe cream so I've been putting it on my arms every time I have a wash and I only put it on my arms I wouldn't put it all over my body because I made that mistake I put it all over my body and it just made everything cling to me so my clothes <laughs> wouldn't come off my legs so I only put it on your arms and wear a short sleeve top before you go to bed I'd never put it on in the first thing in the morning because it would just cling to everything you wear so so far so good I am really enjoying it so that's what it's called and I got this off of ASOS um, I got a bit of money off of it as well because my sister's a student so I got um, a 10% student discount off this but I know you can get it in boots or and super drugs sometimes sometimes their stock is a bit iffy but yeah you can get all the CeraVe products off of ASOS so the next thing that I want to show you in my August favourites is with Vitalash so as I mentioned before I was on a skin medication called Raracutane it's a very strong aggressive medication for acne which is kind of like a last resort medication if your skin's getting really bad um, and for me it was but it literally it killed everything it stripped my skin in a good way got all my acne away but it can make your hair fall out and it can also make everything really thin and sensitive so one thing that i did realize is that my eyelashes were snapping and falling off as soon as i finished that medication i then went on to revita lash and oh my god when i said my eyelashes were stubby they were stubby. I mean, it probably didn't help that I was getting lash lifts, <laughs> which also adds to the snappage. But um, yeah, I used this, no word of a lie, three weeks in, my eyelashes had already grown so much. They now, if I look up, sorry, my, it's very hot. My makeup probably looks all over the place, all messy. If I look up, they nearly touched my eyebrows if i did that they would barely touch the top of my eyelids so this is my second um little bottle thingy of revitalash it is very expensive it markets for 89.99 on cult beauty it, cult beauty is the only place you can get it um so but i managed to get it when cult beauty had a 20 percent off all skin products i didn't think this would come under skin products I just tried my luck, added it to the basket, and then added the 20% discount code that they were advertising, and it took it off. So I was like, absolute bargain. So yeah, this is my second bottle of it, and I am absolutely loving it. So the next thing I want to show you is my new favourite perfume. I urge you to buy this. If you want a nice floral, sweet perfume, then get this one so it's the gucci flora gorgeous gardenia perfume it is gorgeous <laughs> it is so nice it's the 50 ml bottle um it did come with a comb so this is the comb it comes in this lovely silk like bag with the gucci sign there it's got a little button and then that's the inside so it's the same kind of pattern as the perfume sticker and then it's got this comb so I use this comb to when I curl my hair wash the curls out to have a more of like a looser curl but it is gorgeous isn't it it's so nice like look at the detail on that so yeah very pleased yeah uh, I just absolutely love this perfume We'll definitely be getting another um, another one of these once this runs out. So the next thing, also I will apologise, my room kind of goes on a slant like that. So I'll start up here and then I gradually go like that because I'm on my wheelie chair. So let's central myself again. So the next thing I'm going to go on to is clothing. So these one i don't ever want them to come off my feet two absolutely gorgeous and three just an all good all round shoe so i purchased these new balance 574s at the beginning of august 
feels like I've had them for months because I wear them literally every weekend because I, I work at home so I have no reason to wear shoes in the house. So this is them. So again, I got these off of ASOS. They were advertised as a grey, but they're more, they are looking a bit more grey on the camera, but they're more in person of like a brown sludgy nude colour. I absolutely love these. They are so comfortable. So that is my favourite pair of shoes for August. The next thing is a bit of an accessory, but I put it under clothing. If any of you follow Gemma Miles, well, I mean, if you don't, you should. She's another YouTuber, but she has brought out her own apparel brand and it's called Girl of Muse. So I got this tote bag. So it was from her second launch. So it's it's just really cute so it's all about manifestations and positive aspirations so if you see here it's got the 11 11 and then inside it has a cute little aspiration so it says i'm brimming with energy and overflowing with joy so you don't get to choose what what message you want it just gets given to you and it's supposed to be like what's given to you is what you need to live by um obviously if you don't believe in that then you don't believe in that but yeah look how cute that is it's just so much attention to detail it's quite a big tote bag as well it fits everything in there and i love the color it's just it goes with everything that i wear it's an easy big bag if i'm doing a lot of shopping i'll take this with me I absolutely love it. So yeah, the company's called Girl of Muse and the founder is Gemma Miles and you need to find her on YouTube. She's recently just bought a new house with her partner and her two cats and her style inspiration is just everything and more. So yeah, that's favourite tote bag. Okay, now on to the actual clothes. So unless you've been living under a rock, and you don't know who Molly May is. Um, Molly May has bought out a new range within Pretty Little Thing, and she's also recently become the company design um, director. I mean, she's 22, she's a year older than me, and she's accomplished so much. Her range was kind of like a, a holiday type style, but I'm not going away on holiday. I don't have the time to go away on holiday. But when I saw this, I just thought, that's a bit of me. I need to buy that so it's a shirt bodysuit so it looks a bit unmade <laughs> um, if you get what I mean so it's supposed to look like a shirt but it's been tucked in so that's why it's got a bit of a baggy side here and then round here it's a bit baggy as well but it's um I don't know how to explain this type of material but it's got drop shoulder so when you wear it it just looks really loose and baggy and like it's a natural t-shirt tucked in i love it it's gorgeous I wear it with some either denim shorts and some heels or some wide leg jeans and some heels i definitely wear it with wide leg jeans and heels because i don't want to get my legs out so that's what I wear it with but no I absolutely love it I have just checked and it is sold out unfortunately but sometimes pretty little things do bring things back so I would just keep an eye out on there but yeah these sold out pretty quickly oh and I am a size 12 for reference um, on actual sizings if not I'm a medium or large depending on how I want the piece of clothing to fit so this is a 12 and that fits perfectly on me. The next piece of clothing is this bad boy. So it's a bit hot to wear it right now because England can't decide what it wants to do with its weather. Some days it's bloody Baltic with loads of rain and then the next day it's 25 degrees like today and I've got my, my fan sat here, my window open which I've had to shut the blind my lovely sexy star and moon blinds that I had when I was young and I can't change them <laughs> but yeah to, besides the point I got this so this is from Zara this is in a size large and it's a cardigan so I would try it on but I am in pyjama shorts <laughs> so and I don't really have the space to try it on right now so it's a kind of wrap around style cardigan the only way i can describe it is like a leotard 
um, cardi that you wear when you're um, doing ballet. So you put it on and then you, let me see if I can tie it up, actually put it on like a dressing gown. You've got one side with um, the string closer and the other side with the string here. You pull that side over and then tie it up in the bow. So I'm trying to demonstrate here but it's not going very well because I haven't got it on. But um, like that, there we go, that's a better example. I mean it looks a bit dead <laughs> like that but it is absolutely gorgeous and again I would, I would wear this with um, either one of the Zara bodysuits, like the racer bodysuits with some either skinny jeans and some boots or some flared jeans and some trainers. So that looks very nice. And then the next piece of clothing, we're nearly done. I've just got this and then the next thing after that. This is from Primark. So it's another cardigan, but I wear it as like a top or a jumper obviously with a vest on um just because you can it comes down a little bit low um so i wear like a white vest with this but i absolutely love it it does look a bit grannyish but i th i think it's coming into style so again i'd wear it with what i'm about to show you which i, I have worn it i wore it today actually um and then it got really hot so i'm now in this and pajama shorts so i'd wear it with what i'm about to show you or some skinny jeans and some trainers and again for size reference this is a large all right let's get on to the next piece of clothing so this is the last piece of clothing and i urge you with every inch of my body please go to primark and see their new denim jeans so i saw everyone raving about them and i was like i really don't like primark jeans they don't fit me i'm five foot eleven and I just I can't get along with I never have got along with their denim jeans they've either had no give to them no stretch or they're just not long enough for my legs but these they're absolutely amazing I've actually got a bit of gravy down them because I went for a roast today <laughs> what a mess these look at them I mean they're a bit ripped but I can't I like that style so these are a 14 where I'm normally a 12. I mean, it's only one size up. I mean, you've got to give Primark some slack, but I absolutely love them. For a night out, I can style them up with some black heels or any other coloured heel, um, a bodysuit and a blazer and a little bag, or like I wore today with that cardigan, with this cardi and these trainers, maybe. You can never go wrong with a good pair of ripped denim jeans and Primark are absolutely killing it with the section at the moment. Okay, well that was everything that I had to show you for my August favourites. If you enjoyed my August favourites, then please give it a like and comment down below what your favourites were of my August favourites. <laughs> so what I will do is I will list everything, what my August favourites were and where I got them from so you can have a look at them. Um, just because I haven't quite mastered the whole leaving links in bios. It, just because I haven't mastered the whole leaving links in description <laughs> boxes at the moment. So I haven't just, I haven't quite mastered that yet. So I'll just leave a list of everything that I've shown you. And then next to it, I'll state where I bought it from and what size, etc. But yeah, that was everything that I had to show you for this month's favourites. If you would like me to do a September favourites, I'm sure I can do that for you i tend to spend money like nobody's business <laughs> which is actually not very good when you're trying to save up and move out with your boyfriend but yeah no i mean everyone's got to do a bit of retail therapy sometimes but yeah if you did enjoy it like i said please give it a like and also leave a comment down below let me know what your favorites were within my favorites and i would also really appreciate it if you could subscribe so yeah i'll see you in my next video and have a lovely rest of your day Bye bye